Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Pearl Lemon SEO channel, brought to you by Pearl Lemon and presented to you by me, Z. And in today's video, we're going to be covering something slightly different to what we've been covering thus far. Up until now, there's been a specific target audience for each video developers, people just interested in SEO, owners of businesses, people who are looking to get SEO for a business. In today's video, it's going to be a mixed bag of everybody. Okay, so if you're a freelancer, this is for you. If you work for an agency and need some advice, this is for you. If you are looking for somebody to do the SEO of your website, this is definitely for you, okay? These videos, or this video specifically, is going to deal with how to structure SEO packages, okay? More specifically, what should you be looking out for when you are developing an SEO package for a client or for yourself, right? Whether you're a business owner looking at various options, whether you are a freelancer that's just looking to get a bit more structure in their work process, this video is for you, okay? So why is this important? Well. When it comes to dealing with clients, when it comes to dealing with websites, there's a lot to go right and there's a lot to go wrong. Okay, so having a detailed understanding of what it is you're doing for a client is paramount to how you're going to be moving through things. Okay, so how you approach a topic, how you approach a structure, how you approach financials, all of these things need to be taken into consideration. And one thing that I do want to emphasize here talking about money is not a bad thing. Okay, if you want to talk about money, it means you're serious about things. So I'm gonna try and treat this as seriously as possible and give as much advice as possible to everybody, okay? So to start off with, let's look at the first things, right? So usually, and this is how I used to do it as a freelancer, this is how we do it at, at Pearl Lemon now, we look at it in terms of what can we do for the client and what can meet their needs, okay? So for example, I'm just gonna put bronze, you know, silver, gold, and platinum here right so this here is going to be my three or my four strategy plans basically this is going to be how i differentiate my clients from each other okay so bronze you're a low incline okay so this is going to be like you're my stop at lights you're my low end you don't have a lot of money um i can't really put too much effort into your website i'm still going to give you a good service but you're really not my priority. Solver, standard, right? So this is going to be what I try and get people towards the most. My standard package is going to be, okay, you are a decent client, you're a paying client, you are what I consider or what I want as my average. Then I've got my goal clients who is priority. So basically you are paying me more than silver, you're paying me more than bronze, you're in the upper echelons of my income stream or the business's income stream, you are, if something goes wrong with you, I drop everything else in the company. And then finally, you get platinum for the VIPs, okay? If anything happens, constant communications, constant like talks, every single day I'm going to work on your website. You are my platinum. I give you the most services, and you're going to take the most time from my daily grind, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in yellow. So this is a good starting point, all right? Now I know, okay, these are going to be basically my priority listings. Okay, so for example, if I get a if I get a gold client, they're going to be placed higher in terms of my priorities than a silver client or bronze client. A VIP client will always take precedence. Bronze client, you're on the low end, you won't know that, but you are my low end of priorities. Anybody above you, if I'm working on your website and somebody else's problems pop up, I'm going to put you on the back burner until I at least do some work on yours, until I've resolved yours, or until I've resolved everything and reported it back to you, if that makes sense, okay? Re what defines this? Well, monetary incentive, okay? Uh, key part about business is that money is everything, right? So this order priority, this order of listings is definitely going to be from the monetary incentive, okay? So for example, if bronze is a $500 a month, Solver might be, let's say, uh, $800 a month. Gold, ooh, now we're starting talking. Uh, $1,200 a month. VIP um, is going to be $1,500 a month. Okay, so this is by no means um, industry standard. In fact, these are just some numbers I've thrown out there. In fact, these numbers are quite low, in my opinion. So just to be aware, when you're dealing with an SEO agency, it costs a lot more. Um, to do these things because there's a lot more people working on your project. But if you're a freelancer and you get clients in this range, it's actually pretty good. And the way I say this is that I want to set myself a monthly goal. Right? 
So this monthly goal is basically how much money do I want to make a month? And let's say I put this at around, um, let's say I put this at around $1,800, right? Or let's say I put this is $1,500, okay? So basically this is me saying, okay, this is how much I want to earn per month. This is quite low if you're in the United States, I do know. But if you're doing this as a side gig, you're doing this as a sort of side business, this is an excellent amount of money to really supplement your income. If you're working from a place like South Africa or from London or something along those lines, this might even be able to be enough to sustain you if you have a low, um, a low like a conversion rate to, to the dollar or the pound, right? So this is, this is actually a, a decent way of looking at this, right? So you want to set a monetary goal. Then you're going to say, okay, if I get three bronze clients, I meet my monthly goal. If I get two silver clients, I meet my monthly goal. If I get one VIP uh, gold client, I basically meet my monthly goal. I get one platinum client, I meet my monthly goal, right? Mm -hmm. Then I want to say um, extra, right? So this is basically, um, if I get more money, that's going to be my extra add-ons, okay? And then you want to look at time investment. Okay, so for those of you that own a business, this is basically how freelance or how I as a freelancer used to structure my plannings, right? I used to look at a monthly goal. I used to look at how much extra money I could get out of people. And I used to look at the time investment per client. Okay, so this is just a basic structure that I want you to think about when you're looking at an agency. Where do you fall on their priority scalings based on the financial incentive that you're giving them? And realize that that basically correlates to the time investment into you. Okay. So these over here are going to be our packages, right? Okay. And now we're going to start looking at, okay, what does each client get in terms of a package? Now, this can vary from person to person. But in this case, we're going to say basic SEO suite, right? So that is going to be a standard across all clients. And you're going to notice that this looks a lot similar to a subscription model that you'll find online, right? So this is going to be the basic SEO suite. This is going to include things like meta tags. Oh, actually, let me do this. We delete all this. And we're going to say basic suite is going to include meta tags, which is the title and description. It's going to include uh, uh, on-page optimization of specific pages, right? Of specific pages in this case which means that you're going to select specific pages that you want to be optimized. And this is what it's going to basically cost you per month. All right. Uh, the basic SEO suite might include alt tags on all images and um, basic, basic backing up backups, right? So this, for example, is going to be part of your general SEO suite, right? So everybody's going to get this by default. They're going to get the meta tags optimized. They're going to get specific on-page um, optimizations and recommendations. Alt tags and images are going to be there, and they're going to get a backup of their website every week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, depending on their plan, right? And that within itself changes depending on which client. For example, this might be the bronze set, but while it's included also under silver, silver, for example, instead of getting one backup a month, they might get two backups a month. Okay, so this is just, for example, one of these centers that you might get with a basic SEO suite, for example. Let me just highlight this all in and say gray. So this is the basic SEO suite, right? Great, that's awesome. Now we're going to look at things from a extra perspective, right? So now we're going to say, okay, this is what bronze gets, basic SEO suite, on-page optimizations, and maybe we'll include in here recommendations, right? Recommendations and audits. Not put in here, monthly. Ooh. Right, so basic in bronze, you're going to get your all of these things, but you're only going to get an audit monthly, right? So you're not going to have the constant communications, right? Silver, for example, and we're going to say in here communications for all clients, um, uh, weekly updates, right? Or updates. And we'll say here as needed, right? Okay, so basically, 
if you're a bronze client, you're going to get updates as new. Basically, you're not going to hear from me every single day. You'll hear from me if I'm making a change, if I've got a recommendation, if I want to help you out. That's when you'll hear from me here. If we go to the silver side of things, updates will say weekly, right? So you'll get a weekly update from me every single week at the same time about the health of your website, the general strength of your website, all of those things, right? Gold and platinum, um, constant communication. Right? So basically, when I say constant communication, it means that because you're paying me so much, you're going to get constant updates on your website, you're going to get constant communications, constant recommendations. You'll hear from me from email, you might hear from me from Messenger or WhatsApp, or um, you'll hear from me constantly, right? So that's going to be part of the gold and um, platinum, while silver, I might message you weekly updates about everything, but bronze, you're not going to hear from me unless there's a change happening on your website. Okay? Now, then we're going to say as part of our thing here, we're going to add another section here, which I'm going to say as add-ons, right? So basically, add-ons are going to be services that are offered to you as an additional service if it isn't included as part of your thing, right? For example, for $200, I'll do three blogs or, or four blogs a month, a month, right? With an additional... $50 per blog, right? So I'm going to say here, um, $50 per additional blog. All right. Now we're, now we're getting somewhere, right? Now we're looking at this and we say, okay, um, for example, if you're part of the bronze suite, this is get basically going to be what you get, right? You're going to be getting this, you're going to get updates as needed, and you're going to be getting recommendations. That's basically all that you're going to be getting for me if you go with the bronze package, all right? You're a low priority client. I still want your money. I'm still going to help you. I'm still going to be a nice guy. You're not going to see this from me, but in my mind, this is how it's going to work, right? Well, then we're going to look at the silver package, right? And immediately, we're going to be putting this here as part of the silver package, all right? So not only are you getting the, the four blogs a month, which, yes, I'm adding a markup to that because it's part of the silver package, but you're also going to hear from me more, right? Gold automatically also gets that. Uh, sorry, for example, gold automatically gets five blogs. And then platinum automatically gets six blogs from me a month, right? So here's how you see things working, okay? So for basically just increasing by 300, 400, and 300 again, you're getting an additional blog, you're getting more communication, and you're getting more specific communications and planning, right? Then we're going to say here, uh, bi-weekly audits. GSC updates, right? So for me here, you're going to get a bi-weekly GSC update on your website. So for example, if I notice, um, if I go into GSC, I'm checking this weekly, obviously, because I want to keep up to date with how my work is doing for all clients, but you'll get a report on this bi-weekly. You'll see, okay, this is where the trend is going here. These are your performing pages, all of that, all right? If you're a gold client, that bi-weekly becomes weekly, right? And then platinum, also weekly, with detailed breakdown. So maybe in the uh, for platinum client, I'll bring them on a call and I'll walk them through the process on on like on the live site. I'll say, hey, look, this stuff is improving here. This stuff is going really great here. Um, obviously, we can move things around here. You know, it's going to be a lot more of a friendly communication. Part of being a platinum client is that you're treated as a VIP, right? So. Sorry about that. Just had to take a quick message. Um, okay, so where were we? Oh, yeah. So this year, part of being a VIP client is that you are treated as as friendly, as nicely, as cleanly as possible, right? So for example, if you want, if you're part of the bronze package and you want the uh, bi-weekly GSC update, maybe I'll put this as a monthly uh, GSC update, right? So if, for example, you want to be part of a bi-weekly, I might add a markup for you. Okay, obviously I'm going to look at the client and say, this is kind of like where the packages lie, how can I help you out, right? That's going to be my thought process as I'm going through this with a client. If I, if a client messages me and say, hey look, I've got a small business website, just need basic SEO, need, need some blogs, need some updates, I might say, okay, look, what's your price range? And they might tell me, oh, okay, I can't go any higher than um, $650. And I'm like, okay, 
I'll take a look at the sheet and I'm going to go to them and I'll be like, okay, look, we have, I can do your basic SEO. I can update your website as needed. I can do a monthly backup and I can send you a GC update. Plus I can throw in three blogs. Would you be willing to do maybe $650? And if they say yes, great. And I'll say, okay, cool. How do I make this work? Obviously this is not a concrete package for clients, but this is basically in my mind when I'm looking at clients, um, how can I assist you, right? So this is going to be like, okay, how can I make this work? And obviously, like if I build a relationship, you I'll, I'll obviously give more energy, but this is basically the mindset that you have to have when you're doing these structures, right? For example, platinum clients, um, I might say they have a daily RF uh, slash Scripply um, crawl and audit, right? So I'll check in on their website daily. I'll make sure everything is running properly. I'll make sure that the money they're spending gets reinvested into them, but also I get a good cut, right? And then another thing that's important is that underneath all of these things, I'm going to put in an hour thing. For example, if you're bronze, I won't spend more than four hours a week on your website. If you're silver, I'll maybe spend six to um, six to nah, six to eight hours uh, a week on your website. If you're gold, ten to twelve hours, and then if you're platinum, um, whatever is it, right? So if I need to spend twenty hours on your website a week, I will do so. If I only need to spend three hours for your website, I will do so. Right. But basically, this is how I'm looking at the clients because their deliverables are so much less, for example, than silver. It means that I can knock these things out a lot quicker because the blogs here, I might have to spend like an extra four hours a week on silver. Same with gold because it's constant communications, constant updates, all of these things. Right. So this is not a, a tried and true parcel. Like this is how I used to do it when I was doing um, when I was doing uh, as a freelancer. And I make good money with that because I just want to inform you guys and show you guys, this is how you build the packages. You look at what your client can afford. You see where they fall into your standard planning and packages and you make adjustments as needed. For example, do they want me to do video editing? Okay, maybe that's an extra $350 a month, right? So if you're doing, for example, videos, right? This is going to be video, videos and editing, $350 a month, depending on how many videos they want me to review, right? Well, that's going to be fluid. Maybe they want backlink. Ooh, backlinking. Now, this is very interesting. Okay, they want backlinking. Obviously, I'm going to give them a budget. I tell them, I can do backlinking for you. Um, purely white hat SEO, but that's going to be an additional $400 a month, right? Maybe for my platinum clients, I'll include this as a standard, right? So for there, I'm going to tell them, hey, look, this is going to cost you. Um, backlinking, you're going to get four backlinks a month from, right? Um, guest posts even, right? Guest posts. I will do that uh, two guest posts a month. If you want me to do that for you, what's additional? $150 to $250 a month if you want it as an additional add on for your package, right? So, this is how I'm structuring it. As a developer, you have to look at this financially and say, okay, what can I get out of, um, what can I get out of the client and how can I assist them, right? As a business owner, you have to be aware, okay, where am I sitting on this person's totem pole in terms of what they're going to deliver to me, all right? So this is just a quick overview. I know it's an 18-minute long video, but um, this is just a quick overview of how you should look at things. If you are a developer, rank your clients in terms of priority, all right? What their needs are and how many hours that's going to take you to deliver per week, all right? Rank them according to the monetary incentive as well. If you've got a, a, very ex a client that's paying a lot more, and you're like, okay, I need to keep this person happy and they're angry at me. I'm going to make sure that they're as happy as possible, even if I have to throw in a few freebies because the long-term monetary incentive is great. You can even do this, divide it into a month package, uh, a month package, three month package, six month package, all right, and a 12 month package, for example. And get discounts. Maybe if I know you're only going to be here for one month, it's five hundred dollars. If you're bronze, for example. If you're going to be here for three months, I'll break it down to maybe three hundred and one thousand three hundred. Going to be here for six months. Ooh, now we're talking. Okay, so maybe it's, I'll give you one month free, and I'll make it three thousand dollars, right? Three thousand two hundred dollars, right? So now you're saving basically an extra month of money. You're going to be with me for a year. 
great. You know what? I'll throw in a free month and I'll make that. I'll throw in another free month and I will make that 5,000, right? I'll save you a thousand dollars. Great. See, now this is how you start thinking about this commercially and you start tying in your strategies into everything, right? So for example, if a VIP client comes to me and they say, okay, I'm going to be with you for 12 months. Ooh, that is good money. You know what? I'll save you three months if you go with the platinum package for a year. I will I will say, okay, instead of doing 15,000, I'll do it for uh, 12,500, right? No, I'll do it for 12,000. Save yourself two months there. Basically, you pay me for 10 months, you get two months free with me. Because this monetary incentive is super important on the developer side of things. Because when you're investing in a website, and this, I'm speaking to the business owners now, when you invest into your website, you quickly realize the return on investment is really good. Because for $500 worth of advertising, right, you get an equivalent of, let's say, $5,000 worth of marketing advertisements, right? Because remember, if you've got a developer who's multi-skilled like myself, Photoshop, Illustrator, video editing, um, web development, all of these things, these packages, you're paying one person instead of a marketing firm, and you're getting all of these skills if you're willing to fork it up, right? If, you, if you're willing to put out that money there. Right. So this is one of those things where it's a really tight balancing rope as a developer and as a um, as a freelancer, as well as an agency and as a business owner. That's where all of these things intersect that you get a really healthy relationship. Right. And this is not even talking about all the things you can offer a client. Right. This over here, really cheap, to be honest. Um, personally, I have had clients who paid me like two thousand five hundred dollars a month to do this. Right. I've had people pay me. I mean, $5,000 to develop a website for them that, you know, it was a really simple website, but they wanted it in a very specific way. They wanted it programmed purely from code. They wanted a backend developer, all of that. I charged them for it, right? Because you have to remember, what's your skill level? What is the average uh, knowledge level of the people you're dealing with? And also, do they have people supporting them in these endeavors? If they give you a mountain of work, I think it's fair to charge them a mountain of money. But it's all about the equivalency and being fair. These packages over here are not cut and standard. If you come, if you meet up with somebody and you know, okay, they, they're they going to be a bronze client for five months, but I they really can't afford $500 a month. You'd be like, okay, can you do 400, right? Because remember, that's still $2,000 in your pocket. You might just change some things around and say, look, um, I'm not going to do any content for you. I'll give you some recommendations and I'll do monthly health checkups. I'll make sure your website is healthy, but I'm not going to do more unless you pay me more and they come around maybe after three months say hey look i really like the work you're doing can i pay you an extra 200 dollars for you to do this for me and you're like great now we're talking now my add-ons are making me more money all right so this has been a really long video i hope it was insightful hope it was informative and i'll see you all tomorrow